It's not getting warmer. Look at that. You guys are getting numb. Can't have that. We got a fish in the Arctic blast. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have fish and chips. Most perfect main dish. Minus 39. And we're not done yet. I'm Zachary Fowler, and that's Amos Rodriguez. And this is the Arctic blast survival challenge. Polar vortex is coming to the north. Yeah, quite frozen. I got a flag. And yeah. Oh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Got it. Catfish. Oh my goodness, I'm knocking out the species game. Mm. Just the camera just like froze right over. Uh, was your camera still sitting over there? The tarp popped like I predicted. If it, it went winded too much, we lost it. We almost is holding the pipe. We're going to get the strings back on. It's coming from this side, from my side. So as long as we reinforce this side, no, I know well, it. What I heard is off. Well, boom. Yeah. And the whole thing was just up in the air and like that's it. Roof's up. <laughs> no, we still can't go to bed because we got to get out there and put some ties on it and pull it down. So yeah. we're up for a little bit. Yeah. Gotta fix it. There, there's one. We need about one of these every four feet, maybe. Had a little trouble this morning, but we fixed it. Saw the sun coming up and uh, decided to go back to bed for a little bit. I think all the cold and all this stuff is just wearing on us. All kinds of neat things to get up to today. It'll be interesting to see what uh, another 30 degrees does to staying out in this thing. Will we be okay? All right now, there's burlap uh, quilting. On the, and then like two layers of quilting like inside of a, a cheap quilt type thing. You can see it right there on the door. Two layers of quilting and then the canvas. And so far, we've been pretty cozy. It does get pretty cool in here when you're sleeping, but they're both... He's got like a minus 30 bag and I got like a zero degree bag. And I was actually pretty warm, almost sweaty when uh, the roof blew off at 5 in the morning. So... I'm wondering all the cooking and stuff we do in here and uh, I'm all wiped down tables we're gonna get mouse quitzes and being warm in here there's gonna be some mouses showing up anyway can't have an adventure while you're still in your sleeping bag at least wise I don't think you can anyways let's do this Temperature's dropping really fast. I'm gonna get some uh, coffee on. Need to get some energy up. that on last night we were gonna put some water in there so we'll start with that get some more water for coffee there's a strong 
we're gonna need it. Oh, that's so good. I nailed it, man. I nailed it. Here. <laughs> First breakfast is ready. I think we're just going to have to eat our way through the day. You know, we got a lot of fish left and we got a, uh, a lot of calories to burn outside in the cold. And yeah. We're going to have to like go out and work on things and come back in and warm up and then go out and tie a couple ties on the shelter and then come back in, cut a couple poles, come in and, mm -hmm. you know. No, put, that was a wake up call oh. last night. Yeah. Cause we're like, oh, let's do it tomorrow. I keep saying we'll work on the roof inside, but it feels like there's no point in doing it. It keeps working so well. I'm worried about the wind pulling pulling this up. One <laughs> one little micro blow came through and it goes kapop, and just the top just popped off. And we were just so lucky because if that chimney had been hot, it, the plastic as it folded back around the shelter and some of it got over top of the chimney, it would have just it would have melted the chimney and just made a huge mess, but nothing got damaged. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so far we made it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this breakfast and help us to button it up. Oh, yeah. the last of our banana bread that Sarah made. Oh. So tasty. Mm. What a treat. Mm-hmm. I guess that's probably from all of this and from alone, that's like, that's that one piece of P PTSD that I have. <laughs> you know, the winds and the heavy rains, like what's gonna be screwed up in the morning? What's gonna be washed away? What's gonna be damaged? What's gonna be needing repair? <laughs> Maybe I'll try my hand at a boneless pike. There you go. And uh, we'll do bacon wrapped pike nuggets for lunch. Sounds great. Wow, it's not getting warmer. That's for sure. Oh. Whew. We got our frozen crappie here, leftovers. And uh, I was saving them because I was gonna, I'll either put them in the lobster traps and catch lobsters with them in the spring, but I almost wanna try to put one out on the ice. We put one out over there to see if that fisher cat, which is what we think it is, will come back. But maybe I put one out and see if a bald eagle comes and snatches it up. We get the trail cam right there. There's our pike head. I think the camera will get this far. Pick it up motion sensor wise. Put a couple others. <laughs> and if not, I'll come back and pick them up. Might make the neighbors think if they take a walk around the lake, like what in the world is going on here? In the end, the trail cam picked up a lot of crow footage, but we did have this weasel come in. I, at least I think it's a weasel. I'm more and more convinced that the bigger tracks are actually a fisher cat. So maybe we'll catch him another time on the trail camera. Ooh, we got some more critter tracks. These are small. A jumping scamper. I almost think that this is what was out on the ice. They're kind of a, it's got like a hop thing going on. I feel bad about any animals that are out here on a day like today. If I could find them, I'd rescue them and bring them in and warm them up with some butter and rosemary in a nice pan and they'd find a good home. Right here. <laughs> oh, wow. 
It's cold out here. We might not survive, but I don't have to worry about that because today's video is brought to you by Fabric by Gerber Life. Life insurance made easy. For less than a dollar a day, you can get up to a million dollars worth of coverage. And it only takes 10 minutes to sign up. I've done it just in case so I don't have to worry about my family should I be gone and not there to take care of them. Fabric's got your back. Fabric was made by parents for parents. And you could even be offered coverage instantly, no exam required. So whether you live a crazy life where you're pushing yourself to the edge all the time, trying to reach new heights, and you want to make sure your family's taken care of, or whether you're just stepping out your door and knowing that life can be scary at times, but life insurance doesn't have to be. So check out that link in the description below or go to meetfabric.com slash Fowler. That's M-E-E-T fabric.com slash Fowler and get your quote today. So I better get on with fixing the shelter or somebody's gonna be collecting on my life insurance because this is gonna get cold tonight. So this is what we did at five in the morning. Little log pieces like you see me cutting there and a stake in the ground. So far I've gotten those onto almost every other pole. Now we just gotta go around, drive some more stakes in and get one on every pole so that we're sure she doesn't blow up. And I did notice when we were inside having breakfast that some air was coming underneath. I think I'll uh, take a, one of our little buckets or something, get some water and stomp on the edge and pour water on it and freeze it down. This is gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to do it, tie, run inside, warm up, come back out, tie a couple more, and do as much as I can with my gloves on. It's already dropped down so much since this morning, the river was, a little stream had an opening, and now that opening is disappearing, like within two hours. I can so I don't freeze. Up. Right, trucker's hitch. Twist. I'm not gonna pull these super tight on this side yet. The other side seemed like it was shorted just a teeniest bit, so I want to make sure that I get that right before I can come around and retighten them. <sighs> One down. I think like seven more to go. Yeah, that's the way to win. I can feel my toes. My fingertips getting cold quicker than I would like, which means I am not warm enough in here. Ugh, too cold out there. Wow. <laughs> Still have like four or five more to go. It's like getting cold. I think it's dropping even more. All right, I'll have to tie some more ones on. <sighs> Jeepers. Minus two out there. Can only go just so long. Tying those knots, my fingers are getting numb. I'm almost feeling hard. Can't have that. Ah, <sighs> brr. Oh, just, whoa, instant freeze. The condensation from coming inside just froze over the, the whole camera. Oh my goodness, the camera is just like frosted, just stepped inside. The lens like froze right over. Now we're having problems in here with the frost. It's all thawed around the chimney and condensation from the temperature difference being so drastic, we're not heating it enough. We got, look at that. If, if we bang on it, it comes down and it's like snow. <laughs> nice little pieces, they're so cold they don't even melt when you pick them up. Tonight's gonna be a problem. When the wind hits and it's this cold, 
any of that condensation that's forming. It's just going to keep snowing down in here. This is a little bit more uh, nutty than I thought it was going to be. We'll figure it out. I got to warm up some more though. I'm going to check on our fish head soup. Looking pretty good. After I warm up for a minute, the next thing I got to do is figure out what to do with this door so it's more uh, not so blowing open like this. We need the heat. We need the heat to stay in. Any flags? Yeah, there is a flag out. There's you, a flag. Yeah. I just yeah, said I no flags. <sighs> my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. This is nuts. Oh, there he is. We probably just scared him off the fish that we put over there. A most is nuts. He set one over there and one over there. As soon as that ton goes down, that's it. I almost think you should. It, it might have been just the wind. It's going down quick. Oh, is that a flag or is that just the way that one's set up? That's a flag. Oh my goodness, it's not just icing in a little bit. Like the whole trap typing in. Yeah, I got fish. You got a fish? Yeah. Yeah, that's a fish. It's official. It's official. Oh, it's pulling. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We got a fish in the Arctic Blast. Unbelievable. Yeah. I cannot believe it. In the coldest day the coldest wind of the oh oh it's taking line what Woo! in the world did you get nice that was yeah it took some line that is we haven't caught anything in here that would Whoa! take chain pickerel yeah! oh that's crazy nice the that's... other species we're looking yeah. for so look yeah at... <laughs> <laughs> well nice yeah, let's wrap this one up. All right, good night, little fish. Hey, that is, the fish. Is that small, <laughs> how small oh, that is compared to those pike. It's like, okay. yeah, I thought we'd just run out real quick. It wouldn't be a big deal, but you got to bundle in and look at it coming down the lake. Like just a, as it's coming across like the separate winds and they just stirred up the coldness and the, looks like an Arctic tundra out here. The Canadians are like, you guys don't know nothing, you know, that's it's cold like that in the spring, eh? <laughs> you know? That's my impression of Greg. Ay, yeah. ay, ay. All right, let's get out of here. We made it. Whoa. It's it's already like almost frozen solid. Like it's only been a what like we went a, like 30 seconds. Like, I mean like, like the most. it's like yeah. are we gonna survive when it's 30, 40 degrees colder tonight than it was all the other nights we've been out here? Or are we gonna be like no way it's too cold, it's too dangerous, we're about to die, let's go out of there here and then we it, turn the car you know, and it's off. That's what I mean. Like, that's what I was just about to say. Like yeah, if, even if we want to leave, we're not going to be able to leave. Like, You're going to be dead. And we're just going to sit in front of the wood stove and just <laughs> and just be like, ah. Um, one thing we can do, though, is we can get some happy rocks. So I'm going to go grab mm. a couple of those. We'll put those on the wood stove before bed, and then we can wrap them in some stuff and, and uh, snuggle with those, put one down by my feet. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the river. I don't know why I got that stuck in my head. I'm gonna use this to break my rocks free. What we need, that's a nice one. Ah, yeah, I got it free. There's one. One for a mouse. There's a nice one for the snuggling with. And another nice one. That should do it. Four beautiful, happy rocks. Put them on to 
don't think they'll blow up, will they? Right? I gotta go back out and get the door done. Ah! That's where the... Unfortunately, the blanket I saved for the door, I dropped a tree on that. As well as Amos's camera. If you haven't seen that, go watch the earlier video. Ah, yeah, yeah. I feel like more than any other thing I've ever done. It's been a comedy of errors. It's like uh, the Three Stooges. Except for there's just two of us. We didn't bring Greg with us. <laughs> we love you, Greg. I didn't, I didn't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> now, see if you can work the top. Oh, that slides over really easy. I think that should do it. Oh, we got a 22 double player. Not super pretty, but it's functional. And I think before bed, I'll reach out and I'll tuck it under this band that goes around the whole thing. And that should hold it down all the way. We should be good. Push through. Nice. Amen. Tuck all that back out there. <sighs> Warm up for a minute. Sunk my feet. I gotta go back out there. I'm gonna uh, pour some water around the edges and try to seal the bottom down since we don't have snow to berm up against it. When I was living out in the woods in my yurt up in Appleton, uh, as soon as it snowed, I loved it because I would bury the thing halfway up the walls with snow and all of a sudden it would just like be so much warmer in there. I miss that. Ooh. All right. Need some water. I'm gonna open up a hole. And just. I think I need snow. Snow in. Oh, never end. Should do it. I gotta do this about 32 more times, and then we'll be all locked in for the night. Yay! We're all, right. all iced in. I think uh, it's getting down there. I can't tell if we got a flag, so uh, I'm gonna go pull the traps. We're done fishing. Time to tuck in for the night and make some dinner. Good girl! It's only been a couple minutes since last time we were out here. She freezes up so fast. Wind it up and call it a night. Yeah, minnow's still there. That's a stinker. Put that out there for the eagle. Oh, I love the eagles. They're a great band. One down, one to go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, still had the minnow. That's all she wrote on the old traps. There for a minute, man. There we go. We're tucked in for the night. You're all frozen. Oh, I am. <laughs> Is it? Uh... Oh yeah. <laughs> quite, quite frozen. A little icy beard. Speaking of icy, look at the, look at the ceiling. It's just all crisped up. Looks like artwork. Yeah. Nature's artwork. It's like. Oh, it's quite the thick layer too. Holy cow. It's like a paper thin layer. Maybe two sheets of paper thick. 
Yikes. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Look like I know, like right? Moss. It's like art. No, this is art. Thank you, Mr. Chandler. I want to take a picture and make that my new background. There you go. Uh, it's time to start on some dinner. Uh, I think negative 14 right now and still dropping. So not too shabby. And check out the windshield, guys. Uh, if I click on, uh, where is it? Windshield warning, minus 39. Minus 39. Feels and that's, like. so, yeehaw. And we're not done yet. It's going to continue to drop. I'm happy it's it's warm enough in here. We got our hot rocks, our happy rocks that we can put in our beds. If we wake up and feel cold, we can put one more back into our beds and put them out down by the toes and just keep sleeping. And I think we'll be doing good. I'll put our soup down there. Not to be confused with Amos's hide. <laughs> that would be a delicious uh, mistake right there. Oh, grab a scoop of the hide juice. Winner, winner. Fish dinner. Fish and chips. And some fish and chips. I'll give it strikes. Just walking across the room. How cold I can feel a temperature difference mm -hmm. of like five or six degrees. That wind, as many barriers as we have, none of them are like necessarily 100% windproof. So I can feel the air pushing. I don't know if it's the air or just the coldness pushing through. A traditional, or not a traditional, but a modern day yurt has like a rubberized plastic canvas, like PVC canvas, I believe, right? And then they have a foil bubble wrap layer that reflects the heat as opposed to like this quilting that I have here just slows the heat passing through to the outside. And the insulation on the ceiling is nil, <laughs> as you can tell by the frost. Yeah, it's building. I wonder I in the morning. I can't stop looking at it. It's so yeah. amazing. In the morning, it's going to yeah. be super thick. I can't wait to see it. It's probably going to be a chunk of ice. You think so? I don't think it's going to get... I think it can only get to a certain thickness, but maybe. Maybe. And if it does get to a chunk of ice and the wind blows really hard in the night, we're going to get hit with like either little pieces or whap with the big old chunks. It's going to snow inside. Yeah, snow, yeah, snow inside of here for sure. Dear Diary, or perhaps I should say, Dear Amos, I froze to death last night and I'm not gonna make it, but I shot all my footage on my favorite Canon EOS R5, and I wanna leave that to you since I dropped a tree on yours. She's been a good camera, taking lots of good shots and creating lots of good videos. I hope she'll be a good camera for you too. Thanks for coming to Maine. I hope you didn't freeze to death with me and you get a chance to get out there and experience more of what life has to offer and, and shoot a bunch of great videos with my favorite camera. She'll serve you well. Fowler out. Pike. Pickerel. Yeah, this one's actually a pretty good sized pickerel, considering. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the pickerel. How much meat can you get from a little pickerel? One cut, then we gotta still get the stuff off of it. Get this off, fish nugget. Here we go. One fish nugget. Ever since Ace showed me this method, cutting back towards the tail and then flipping it over and leaving it attached to the tail, I found that super handy. All right, now is the hard part. So we got the fillets, but to get those off of here, we cut along the Y bone below it Trying to cut down in until we get past that Y bone. Try to get that, follow those ribs down. We're in, down to the belly. Another, whoop, oh, I lost it. This is another trick. Go, if you're just trying to get small pieces and you're not worried about it, go one way and then go the 
other way. Boom. This is gonna be a small pile of meat. Right side of the fish always seems to be harder to flay than the left side of the fish for some reason. Now I do feel a couple bones, I think I went too far. I'm gonna take off that piece. We'll set some of these aside because those will go into our fish stew pot. Oh, and look what we got inside. That's a tasty treat for us fish eggs. Remove the skin, the back fin, and add this to our broth. All of this stuff I'll save for the lobster traps. And then we have this back piece here, which has another bones going down them. Filet knives make this so much easier. Got a little strip there, another strip there, bony piece there for the stew pot. Thank you. So we got our stew pot from before. Uh, made some delicious breakfast. Throw that in there. That'll be for the lobster pot. And this is our little pile of meat. Now let's see how much is on this bigger guy. I mean, he's only a couple inches longer, but he's bigger. Obviously, if we're doing a survival, like uh, Almost was doing a Great Slave Lake on his season of Alone 7, then we would smoke the whole thing or something like that and then roast and cook the parts that you want. You'd cook it and then pick it apart or put it into your stew pot after gutting it. But uh, this is uh, survival glamping. Did I just coin a phrase? Survival glamping. We'll do the real survival thing when we're out there doing like alone and I have to do a winners against winners or a most is invited back for a third time to do like uh, I, I don't know what but like they keep inviting it back so because they love them So crazy and deep oh my goodness look at this that's a meal in itself. Oh what a treat. That's going to be a fried delicious. Super nutritious. Oh. All right. Well, we got a small pike. We got a big pike. It's not a huge amount of meat for what you would think would come off that much of a fish. Just as much again for stewing when it comes to the bigger pike. And almost the same for the smaller pike. We'll put that in the pot. We'll have some nice fried fish nuggets and all oh, these beautiful fried fish eggs. That will make some fish and chips like you wouldn't believe. Fish eggs like that, fish egg nuggets, so good. I don't know why they don't serve them in stores. So delicious, so much protein, so much energy in every single bite. This is gonna be good. And if we have time, we can tan those skins. We can tan these? Mm-hmm. The fish, t uh, well, of course you can, but like I just, I had never thought to do it, right? Yeah, fish leather. I just put it all into my, and turn them into lobsters. Mm -hmm. Fish leather, we can make like grab handles on the knives and things, oh. really cool things, yeah. A, a fish leather uh, slingshot handle. There you go. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, oh, very cool. <laughs> if you're really hungry too, and you really wanted to survival wise, you could just as easily rinse out the guts. And I can feel like a fish in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, you nice. can rinse out the guts, you got the liver, you got the the kidney. The only thing you really don't want to eat, I think maybe is the gallbladder. I can't imagine anything else. Like, this is gonna make fish. my hands smell so delicious. Ah, there's a whole uh, sunfish, sunfish, I think. Yeah, yeah like a, a little sunfish all in a state of uh, rot and decay in the stomach, like being dissolved. That's that's pleasant. That's enough for tonight. We'll do fish and chips. We could do a um, a half digested. Uh, a fish. I wonder what ha I bet you anything. A half digested fish. There's other stuff that um, is out there that people do. Like um, back in the day, the old recipe for squirrel was uh, you would take the nuts out of the stomach. The acids in the stomach would uh, rinse the tannins from the acorn, which you can't easily eat without like triple boiling and things like that. And you could sprinkle those on top of your cakes, they would back in the day. So you make the most out of every one of your catches.
perch. Wow. Yeah. Another masterpiece you Our, were able to whip up. In. Yeah. In the, <laughs> it was hard though. Yeah. Like, With it, the pike? It's, well, it's not even the pike is so hard. Just like cooking on that little wood stove mm -hmm. and trying to make you the most perfect main dish. I mean, you already had the haddock. I had the haddock, yeah. So like you got to have fish and chips in Maine, you know, so. <laughs> and I love fish and yeah. chips, man. So we got fish and chips. All right, let's say grace. Lord, thank you for the the adventure and keeping us safe. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe in the coldest day, probably of the year, mm -hmm. that we're like out here, thirsty and making this amazing. And thank you, man. Mm. Probably just finger food, but you might need it to get the tartar sauce. Nice. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, the pickled tartar sauce. Mm-hmm. That's, that's money, man. Mm-hmm. Yum. I never used to like ketchup, but I found out that like you put hot sauce on top. Mmm. And it like really... Then it becomes enjoyable. Oh, look. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> yeah, the wind blows and the little ice, icicle flakes are coming down. Oh, you're right. That's really good. Isn't that I good? Never, I never eat ketchup, actually, but this one actually tastes really yeah, good. Yeah, see, I never liked ketchup mm -hmm. growing up. Same all here. that stuff. Like, my kids are like, can I have ketchup on my mac and cheese? Can I have ketchup on this? <laughs> I'll eat possum if, as long as there's some ketchup on it. Like, yeah. they're like, fried egg. Mmm. It's like, it's like eating grits. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice and juicy. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Yeah, the raw is delicious. I just realized, like, we haven't eaten since our banana bread, really. Well, that's why we're drooling over there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anything right now, it tastes good. It was like, oh. <laughs> when I was at Great Slave Lake, I was catching so much fish. Huge pike, huge trout. The first month, I was like, oh my God, I made it. I'm through. I can live on this for a Look at this fish. I can eat all this fish for a whole week. I just eat a chunk every day. Boom, boom, boom. But then, my body was in full ketosis. And I couldn't understand how I could eat the whole freaking fish and not even, yeah. it was just enough. That, that reminds me of like, um, I feel like it's a big survival mistake, you know, like, um, not something you did, but like, um, people, they would do that and then they allot themselves a certain amount of food for each mm -hmm. day. So they feel better. But like, if you have food... You eat need it. to eat it. You gotta eat it. You Otherwise, need to eat it. Yeah. 
Well, it happened to, yeah, David Nessia, he was saving his fish and he got pulled out of the show because he was like, and he was like, no way, I have fish in here, yeah. I have saving. I'm like, no, man, your, your body can handle storing the food for you. Yeah. If you, if you have the food and you're out there, eat it. Your yeah. body can store it for you, you can store the fat, you will need it. I didn't think I was going to eat the whole thing, but like, wow, I can't stop. That was amazing. Amazing. What a meal. Ugh. Fresh pike. Uh, mm. That pike is so good. Pickerel and pike, so delicious. Uh. Whoa. I got a three guys coming here and having these gourmet meals on this stove. It's, it was choice, man. Yeah, I'm every night is whipping up something so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> if you ever get a chance to come rent this year <laughs> yeah. with this cook over here, <laughs> don't worry about the price. Just come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll yeah. be good. <laughs> You're going to start doing an Airbnb. Airbnb. Thing? <laughs> yeah. There'll be a survival uh, alone experience, uh, Airbnb uh, with a good uh, chef. <laughs> <laughs> what do we call it earlier? Survival glamping. Glamping, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, we can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear it coming. You can hear it moving across. The, the hillside's protecting us. Mm -hmm. It is a sign of how <sighs> cold it is that I still haven't stripped out of my my bibs yet like I've been enjoying them and I took my jacket but I still have the, the your big pants and, and, your, yeah. and your heavy uh and the, the, I got triple triple layer here on the bottom so that's oh, yeah. why it keeps yeah. me warm yep yeah. <laughs> there we We're gonna brace the night like the bison do in Yellowstone. All right. <laughs> They're the descendants of survivors from a past world. I'm I'm pretty cozy. I got my hot rocks in the bottom of my bag, so my toes are super toasty. And I got the other one right next to me, up by my chest here, and it warmed it all up. And I'm like, and I'm just like gonna uh, sleep with it on top of me. He's got a better bag than me that goes. I got like 12 inches of loft in yeah, here. He's got, <laughs> this is a negative 30. Or more. And, or more, <laughs> and, yeah, maybe more. And mine's just a zero degree bag. So I'm trying to survive in a zero degree bag in minus 18. We'll see, I'll keep you updated. I'll see you in a few in the morning, unless there's something uh, you need to know that happens during the night, like the roof blows <laughs> off again. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Good night.